All right, we're in Arisa site now. Oh, all right. This is the because the the, the mission failed, and now they are gathered. They are gathered together again for fancy <laughs> something like that. <laughs> the bell rang to signal the end of lunch, and Otoya went back to the classroom. The girls had another meeting after he had left. All right, let's throw a fastball straight at the batter. Yes, but. Will it work? <laughs> what if the uh I mean what if the batter hits it? Then we you lose again. Oh yeah, I guess we did. <laughs> a breaking ball. So a breaking ball doesn't work. Now we need to throw the fast one, yes. We need to act decisively, you know, swiftly. I hope not that. We pitch too far out, oh break the ball is bad. Who's, who's jokes? <laughs> was, was Honoka really joking though? <laughs> no, no, the yes, simple is best, but but no, it's more, it's rather than about simple, it's more about being genuine, but. The thing is, it's going to be really hard to be genuine with Otoya, given how Honoka has always been teasing him. So, you know, then he has come to, yeah, Otoya has come to learn that, you know, Honoka is just really like joking and playing tricks on him, you know, teasing him and all that. So it's going to be really hard to crack that wall, you know, that, that defense, that, that, yeah, that, basically that wall that uh, Otoya has built up, you know, in front of. Yeah, in front of Onoka. Uh, that's going to be even worse, trust me. Because if Onoka puts a love letter and then yes, it's, of course, Otoya will know that it's from well, Onoka because well, it's a love letter like from Onoka. Then, but then uh, Otoya will think that, oh no, not another trick. Not another trick by by Honoka and all that. You know, I feel like the only way this is gonna work out is if Honoka just expresses her feelings directly yeah to, to Otoya. Because the thing is there's no other way it's gonna work. She just has to be upfront about it. Yeah, no no tricks like what letter letter and all that. Yeah. I like, just go straight to the point. Because it's not gonna work out yeah otherwise really. I feel. Yeah, it's cliche too, no? <laughs> I feel like putting a love letter is totally strange. Well, it's not really totally strange. It's a kind of a cliche thing, yes, but I still feel that it's really awkward. <laughs> you know, like I said, just be upfront about it. That's the only way it's going to work out. <laughs> but yeah, Kaho, you have a point. Then why did you go with the first plan? <laughs> yes, panorama. Let's just hope o uh, Otoya doesn't really like think it's a joke and then just not turn up. Which I feel is going to be the case. What? That's pretty rushed, though. Serious? Yeah, we don't care about the cup anymore. Now it's all about Honoka. What? <laughs> really? What? Right, but I have doubts about this. That I have doubts that this is going to work, but let's see. But Arisa, I thought you said love is out of out of the question, like love is banned. <laughs> but whatever. Honoka, 
放課後までに告白の言葉をちゃんと考えてみてね。If it does work out, then Honoka needs to be really needs to actually Honoka really needs to tell Otoya that she's not lying and she's not teasing you or playing tricks, like teasing him or playing tricks on him or whatever. He needs she needs to be upfront about it basically. She needs to say that to Otoya first thing. Otherwise, Otoya is just going to think this is all joke. Needs to get it right in this game. I just be upfront about it, Honoka. But first thing you must say that this is not a joke. Really, must say. If you don't say that, it's not. It's never gonna work out. Oh man, I feel like this is gonna be worse. Ask someone else to write the letter. That will sound sincere. It's not gonna work out. <sighs> oh well, let's see how this is going to fail, <laughs> I guess. But Arisa does have a point, yes. Approach this like there's not going to be another chance. What? Why in a few years though? <laughs> At least a few months. But all right. All right. All Roger, I will. All right. So in five hours and twenty-five minutes. Hi. Hi. Okay. Let's see. Right back to Otoya. School had ended. I received a text from Arisa. Apparently, all the others had to urgently attend to other matters, so she had swapped in a holiday. Suddenly, having the afternoon off put me in a situation where I didn't know what to do with it. I decided to go home first, so you know, take the shoes and all, the shoe box. Yeah, it's it's customary. As it, it, I'm sure you, most of you who are reading this vision novel, should know by now that it's customary. For students to keep their shoes in their, sh their shoe box, out just just before entering school, basically. Yeah, there's like a shoe box at the at the lobby, basically near the entrance. When I opened my shoe box and took out my shoes, a cute letter fluttered through the air and fell to the ground. Yeah, and also the the other thing I feel like this is you know why this is not gonna work because this cute letter thingy this is definitely not Honoka style. You no, know, you know what I'm saying Honoka will never do such a thing. And if Holoka does do such a thing, then Otoya, it will lead, definitely lead to Otoya thinking, oh no, another, not another one of Honoka's tricks, you know? Because this is that, this is not what Honoka is, you know? This is how, not how Honoka is, behaves, you no? Know? Genuinely, you know? I picked it up and looked at the cover. It said to Otoya, to its characters, not to mention, this is written by Kaho, not by Honoka. So you would think that, Although I would say, would think that this is definitely not, you know, Honoka's handwriting or something, you know. I hope, yeah, you know. The sender hadn't put their name on the back, but I thought I had seen the handwriting before. Kaho, right? Well, I don't think he'll figure it out. I broke the seal and took out the letter. The contents were very simple. Hey, Daishi, you stay out of this. <laughs> no, you're the last person I want you to be here. <laughs> you have messed things up. Even worse, even more. Don't read my letter. Otoya, それはまさかあれなんじゃないか What what this what what does this have anything to do with you though? Huh? <laughs> Looks like I finally got them one of these as well. Yappari. You're dumb. <laughs> that joke would have worked 80 years ago. <laughs> it might. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know why he said 80 years ago? Because eight, like 80 years ago or even before, those were the times when Japanese would like to you know, challenge to each other to do us, you know? Yeah, you know, like you know, Kendo and, and all that. <laughs> Sword fighting. Yeah. Something similar to fencing, yeah? But... 
差出人の名前がないんじゃないか。はい、you see that the letter is cute, right? So how can it be a duel? <laughs> I'm a bit worried about that. Maybe it's some kind of joke. See, see what I mean? いや、いたずらならまだいいよ。もしかしたらデビルのような顔をしている可能性があるだろう。<laughs> Uh, I, there's a bit of a translation problem here. She looks like the devil. Oh, okay. Like, I guess. No, because I thought, like, she looks like the devil himself. I guess because devil usually is a he. Yeah, but then, yeah, it's a bit weirdly phrased here, but she looks like the, like the devil or something like that, no? Because the, de the devil, because the devil, well, usually is referred to as a he, right? So. So, 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 いつもずっと見ていましただろう。<笑>お前の周りに可愛い子なんていたか。あ、レッツ。I'm mostly around the Biako girls, so I don't really know anybody else. So it's definitely one of them, right? Okay, come on. Get your, yeah, get your mind thinking. Well, Arisa has a cute face. Rimi is beautiful too. Does Natsu is pretty hot, I guess. But you don't think Honoka is cute? Oh man, a child fan. This is the. Childhood friend syndrome. <laughs> oh, and Honoka too. Oh, there we go. Okay, at least knowledge that Honoka is cute. Hotoya, more than Koda! Conlin's I could never kick that can I you! Alright, bye! <laughs> Daishi, do you love your sister? I'm sorry, I didn't realize how you felt all this time. I'm so sorry, you're in love with your sister. Oh my god! Take out you! Go kind of Hotoka! It's okay, you don't have to justify yourself. I know you. I know you're a siscon, yes. You're one of these guys, right? <laughs> I made a flamboyant gesture. Guess, uh, gesture with my right hand. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, today is classified as a holiday, so it's fine. You're talking like a man again. Uh, you just talk like a girl, though. <laughs> Turn into a holiday, too. The timing is perfect. <laughs> of course, but you don't you follow me? <laughs> yeah, sure. I can face the devil. Even if the devil's waiting for me there, yes. What? <laughs> Even if it's the truth. That just means the person I love happens to be a boy. Happens sometimes. Are you okay with that, though, Otoya? <laughs> Otoya. Hey, screw, screw off, Daichi. Don't, don't say, in a, don't say my name in a tone like you're in love with me or what. Actually, that's me. I wrote it. Screw you. <laughs> I had to run away immediately and flee that wretched place. Yes, bye. Otherwise, my poor behind was in grave danger of violation. Why? Sorry, no. <laughs> I stayed at time until I had to go to the park. So Daichi and I hit up the arcade. Okay. But don't follow me later, huh, Daichi? Okay, so, alright, we're in the girl's side. Five minutes. X. Five minutes until confession. E, e minus five minutes. There weren't many people in Panorama Park. The girls had hidden themselves in various spots and communicated over group chat. Again, eat yourself. Come on now. You must do a better job of hiding yourselves this time. Last time, you didn't really do a good job. Yeah, in Japanese, it sounds like in Japanese is X minus. But, well, English is T minus, so. Yes, the weather is very important because if it's raining, we cannot do the confession, right? Yeah. <laughs> But then, yeah, also need to make sure no one else is around. This is cool. <laughs> Why is HNK? <laughs> Confession rocket. Oh, so seriously, why is he chanky? But here comes Otoya. 
The HNK Confession Rocket spent 1 minute and 30 seconds moving to the Confession Launch Pad. Wait. Is. Is. Wait, hold, wait, hold on. Oh, Uno Guy is the HNK Confession Rocket. Okay. <laughs> the rocket had wireless earphones in the ears and a wireless microphone hidden in a collar to ensure that the Confession sequence went smoothly. The wireless earphones won't Otoya be able to spot them if. Yeah. Yeah, won't, won't Otoya be able to spot them? Then you'll be like, what are you doing? Right, here goes nothing. Alright. Go! Arisa and the other girls have put up three under construction signs to block different entrances. But where did you find those under construction signs though? Access to a 400 meter radius area was now limited. Propellant tank. <laughs> give, me, give some energy, give some juice to Holoka. Yes. No motivation. She needs the energy and motivation and juice. The HNK Confession Rocket took a seat out of the pet bottle of water, I guess, to elevate her drive of throat. Okay. It wouldn't do to rest during the confession, yes. Also, need to calm your nerves. Right, you're, you're killed. Now to calm your nerves. What attitude control system life? <laughs> or for what? Many attitude tests have been performed to improve the chances of a successful confession. What attitude test? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> what electrical system? You mean the brain power? <laughs> Basically, the nerves, yes. Need to calm the nervous system. Ah, the rehearsals. Alright. She had to be reminded not to shock circuit, yes. Ah, oh, that became nervous then. At a loss on what to say, you know. Become mind blocked. Yeah, that's the, the, the nervous system. Uh, uh, yeah, don't be short circuited. Alright. Here comes Otoya. Yes, it's been a while since we saw. Yeah. Since we last saw Otoya's face. Yeah. <laughs> and also, we'll get to hear Otoya's voice again, right? Yeah. It's rare that we actually get to hear Otoya's voice. Otoya appeared at the edge of Panorama Park perfectly on time. <laughs> Why are you calling Otoya a satellite though? Oh, now I know, okay. OTY is Otoya, right? And then HNK is Honoka. Okay, now I get it. Okay, now I get it. Okay, HNK is like acronym of Honoka. Otoya, acronym of. Yeah, OTY is acronym of Otoya, okay? So OTY confessions target satellite. Why call him a satellite? Arisa quickly removes the under construction sign on its path. Okay. Once he had passed through and walked deeper into Panorama Park, she returned it to that spot. Here comes Sotoya. Finally, at long last, the Honoka, the HNK Confession Rocket approached the OTY Confession Target set. Oh, oh, le? Are, yes, are? <laughs> Yes, oh, you know, since we heard Otoya's voice, yes. <laughs> yes, but Onoka, first things first, you better tell him that it's not a joke, okay? Right, like, sincerely tell him that it's not a joke. Otherwise, you'll get the wrong idea. Onoka nodded. Many seconds until confession. Okay. Uh, maybe 
いするんだ。ナナ、おばあちゃん、ゴーバーカの今日中心。ナツイズカウンティダウン。エドボーバーズ。ゼロ先輩が。おゼロ。ゼロ、ヒアカムスコンカッション。ゴーストに似た人だなって思ってるんです。What? 呼び出してまで言うことじゃないんじゃねえ ?Look at why? Why? It almost worked out. Hey, what the hell you say loose pants around here? <laughs> what? Look at why? Excuse me, why? Actually, I thought you wouldn't. Well, I, I, I had a feeling you would fail, but I didn't think you would fail like this. <laughs> Come on, look at why? You almost succeeded. Shit. Yes, she shot circuited. She, she really shot circuited. <laughs> emergency engine shut down, like, as it was this. Yeah, emergency stop. Oh. Okay, so abort, abort. Abort. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> abort. How, how do we restart bioelectronics, though? By coming to a rescue? <laughs> Nah, she lost a chance. It's not gonna work. If she stays the second time, Otoya is not gonna believe her. Mission failed again. Yes, abort. Mission abort. And seriously, epic failure. <sighs> oh well. The girls stood close and looked up towards the orange sky. Ah, <sighs> wondering why they had built so very close to the target. Oh, it's one of us nerves. They sighed as one like broken flat walls, heavy with the dejection of failure. They hadn't given everything. Well, I, the other girls actually had. It's just Monoka. Well, well, then, but then again, yeah, we shouldn't put all the blame on Monoka. So, actually, no one is to blame. Yeah. They should have tried harder. They hadn't been serious enough. They hadn't thought about it enough. They kind of had actually, but. I mean, you, at least you girls tried. They hadn't staked everything on the compression. None of them had anticipated that they would have to do an emergency engine shut down at the last second. Oh well. Okay, Otoya's side. What had gone wrong? Oh, why is Otoya asking himself that? Otoka met me at the park, said something pretty nonsensical and ran away. Hmm. I wasn't sure what to do, also she actually ran away on the I thought I thought uh Otoya like that. I wasn't sure what to do. Was it okay to just go home? No, definitely not. <laughs> something must be up, you know. I mean she wouldn't have just said something nonsensical and then just ran away, you know. I wanna grab some ice cream first. Un un ice cream. I figured she'll give me a call if she still wanted to talk. In the meantime, I went over to the ice cream stand. One anan ice cream, please, and make sure you better eat, eat it this time. <laughs> oh? Oh? <laughs> that him? He must have looked that way to others. Honestly, he looked like that to me as well, at least for a little while. She made fun of me. No, she didn't. That's <laughs> So uh, not really. Oh, that's right. She said three other girls. They said, "Oh, oh." <laughs> then Otto is like, "Please explain this. <laughs> what is the meaning of this?" Ah, sorry. Ah, ah, one more. Okay, one more. Okay, one more. Yeah, Otto. I heard three other girls. Three other girls. There had to have been Arisa and the others. And then they sent me a text saying that everyone was busy with other things. I couldn't really imagine Arisa cancelling the club meeting over some stupid joke. Hi. I took the ice cream. Thinking about it wasn't going to do much good, so I moved away to find a better spot to eat my ice cream. Uh, oh. Arisa? 
I could see in Arisa's expression that she was cursing a lot. Oh my! Oh my! And why are you here though? I should ask you that. What are the four of you plotting? Don't play dumb. I'm talking about what just happened. Did you put Honoka up to some weird joke? I just gonna be direct with Oto and say Mention the confession. Oh, here we go. Arisa is being direct, straight to the point. Not like me, huh? I'm always like myself. I'm the only me. Oh, 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 Otoya has feelings for Hono. Maybe it kind of seems that way to Arisa and the other girls, but I don't remember any part of the common route where, where Otoya was like saying, Oh, I have feelings for Hono Kaifi. Right? I don't remember that, but well, anyway. How do you know that? Honoka chan ni kita mono. Ah. Okay. Oh, actually, I say, how do you know uh, he turned her down once? How much did she tell you? Mm. That really was everything. But that time he was depressed, so you know. I wasn't sure whether to talk to her about it. I figured talking to Arisa about it was fine. Yeah, I mean, you're actually pretty close to Arisa, so I feel like Arisa might just be the role model in the other in Natsu and Aho's roots as well. Yeah, it, it really seems like Arisa is the main heroine of you know, this vision novel. I mean, even in you see in Onoka's roots, she's like the role model. So yeah, play a central role. To be honest, I wasn't sure what to do when my mom died. It's pretty pathetic, but I was really confused. I started talking about a part of my past that I didn't really want to remember. Honoka was always there for me back then. And honestly, I love the way she smiled and laughed. Maybe it sounds like I'm exaggerating, but she really saved me with those. And she did all that even though I wasn't giving her an answer to her confession. I was acting pretty selfish, don't you think? I mean, I mean, you were, like I said, Otoya was pretty depressed back then, so you wouldn't be thinking straight. You know. Back then, it made me really happy, but I was also scared. Are you like, were you like scared that the same thing might happen to Onoka? You know, my dad is really into his work, right? But I admired that about him, and it's what made me want to be a fisherman. Arisa didn't interrupt me even though this, uh, this must have sounded completely unrelated. I mean, gotta listen, you know? Because Otoya is like voicing his... Like opening himself up, so you know, gotta listen. But then he disappeared to go fishing even though the people in the hospital said her condition like changed pretty quickly. And yeah, we learned about this in Arisa's road. But I wonder if he will actually learn the truth from Otoya's dad in this room. Probably not. Oh, yeah. I tried to stop him, but he just said that work is work. And after that, her condition really did get worse, and he wasn't even around the funeral procession. Mom told us on her deathbed not to blame him for anything, and that he was only doing his best for all of us. But don't you think it's really stupid? I think it's ridiculous. Baka baka shi. I wasn't able to say anything else. All the things I felt back then came rushing back. I found it hard to breathe. I was able to regain my composure. The way Honoka and I were just oh, the way Honoka Honoka and I were just really reminded me of mom and dad. Kind of like weird phrasing, but okay. Yeah. 
I ran away from that because I was afraid I would hurt her. I didn't want to be a fisherman anymore, so I quit the angling club. I decided I didn't want to be like him anymore. Uh, so I guess the reason why you rejected Onoka is because you rem she reminded you of fishing. But I still couldn't calm down, so I said no to her because of the way I felt about my life and not yet. Okay, it's more of that, yeah. Like I said, Hodo is still depressed and all back then. But now it's different, right? I said no because I didn't want to be like my dad. As if that was even related, you know. But by, okay, yeah. But like I said, he has something to do with because he didn't want to be a fisherman anymore. He didn't want to be like his dad. So that's why he left the club, angling club and then said no to Onoka because he didn't want to be reminded of the angling club. Of fishing, yeah, like I said. So, yeah. I don't see how I could possibly bow and apologize and tell her I love her now. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could if you just talk to her though. So, you know what I mean? If you don't have anything to do with that, then you can't do it. Yeah, I cannot blame him. Yeah. Yeah. And, do you like Honoka? Yeah, I mean, just give it a shot, you know, give it another shot. Why not? Yeah, just talk to her. Are you listening to me? What do you mean? It's an old story, right? お母さんが亡くなった直後でお父さんに裏切られた気がして恋愛どころじゃなかったのはよく分かったわ。Yeah, at the time, right? But what about now? I mean, the past is the past. The past is not something to be forgotten, but the thing is, you shouldn't get stuck in the past. You should, you should move on, you know? でも昔の話じゃない。Yeah, you know? Now, the present is the present, okay? The past is something to reflect on, to something that you learn. Like let's say if you make mistakes in the past, then it, those are the mistakes you should learn from and then move on. Yeah, but you shouldn't get stuck in the past. Yeah, you shouldn't dwell on the past, you shouldn't get stuck in the past. Yeah, and I'm telling you that there's no way I can just sweep that all under the rug and tell her I love her. Yeah, you're the only one. Honoka, Honoka doesn't think the same way, you know? Have you ever considered Honoka's feelings? でもそれって誰のためよ。自分のためじゃないって言うなら誰のためにもなってないわ。Yeah. だってほのこちゃんはあんたが大変な時に告白した自分が悪いんだって言ってるのよ。今あんたがほのこちゃんに告白したとして今更どの面下げて言ってるんだなんてあの子が言うと思うわけ。Yeah. Precisely. You see, our side is the is the is the girl, man. I thought about it. It was hard to imagine. So, uh, hold on. actually, now I'm I'm thinking, Arisa best girl. Arisa is definitely the best girl of this vision of her so far. But yeah, but yeah, I do feel like Arisa is the best girl. Probably not. But I already said no. I told her I wanted to stay as friends, stay friends, you know, stay as friends. Uh, but doesn't mean things can't change, you know, Toya. I can't just. グダグダ言わないの。今さらなのか、ようやくなのか決めるのはあんたじゃないわ。Yeah, God is the one. <laughs> I guess not. I saw sight here, Tristan. Ah, really ha. But yeah, you're not the one to decide, though. You also need to consider Honoka's feeling. But Honoka thinks. <laughs> yes, no, just do it. Don't don't think, just do it. Look, maybe I'm an idiot, but I try to be a nice person and everything. Yeah, you're being an idiot for being for trying to be a you're not being a trying to be a nice person you know, at this point. You're being dumb, actually. Yeah, the more you think, the more the stupidier you get. <laughs> yeah, when idiots think, they become stupidier. <laughs> yeah. いいいい告白されて振ったことも、お母さんのことも、お父さんのことも、全部忘れて考えなさいよ。今、ほのかちゃんのことが好きなのか、好きじゃないのか、どっちなのよ。Yeah, just tell her whether you love her or not. I emptied my mind like I like Arisa told me and tried to figure out how I really felt. The answer came much more easily than I imagined. 
I love her so much. Here we go. But, but it's not a fashion. <laughs> not yet. Alright, right now. Yes, go after Honoka. Don't lose her. Now that was a bit unreasonable. I mean, you love her, so you, you can't. You better, if you love her, you gotta make the confession as quickly, ASAP, as quickly as possible, yeah? Does the situation have to be like just right? No, 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 no. You, you don't have to, don't think so much, just do it. Doesn't matter what situation it is. Just confess, that's what matters. You don't have to like, yeah, don't think. Like I said, don't think. <laughs> Arisa told you, don't think. You told me not to use my head, but now you want me to? No, basically telling you, don't think. Just do it, just confess. ほのかちゃんが今もあんたを好きならもう一年も待ってるってことよこれ以上待たせるの信じられないわいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやい
I mean, Arisa already knows that Honoka loves Otoya very much. So, Otoya, don't freak out. <laughs> hey! So, that's it. I'm not sure if she's really like calling, talking to Honoka right now or if she's just faking it. <laughs> But I think I will. I'm thinking that she's really talking to Honoka right now. Hang up! But I, at the same time, I also feel like she's actually faking it. It's just to get Otoya riled up, like really confess his feelings, and with Honoka like somewhere hiding in the bushes <laughs> or something, you know, and overhearing things. I yelled so loudly that I thought I, I would hurt something in my throat. Or rather, I thought I had hurt something in my throat. Hang up! Right now! <laughs> I think Arisa is faking. No, you should shut up. Did you really forget what I just told you? What? <laughs> what? Where, where did that come from, Arisa? Best girl, you. Best girl. <laughs> best girl. This is the best girl, Arisa. That's not what... Ah, no, ne. Maybe then you'll get it into your selfish head. I don't feel like going out with Honoka at all. Oh, shit. Oh. I gave her a very angry look and Arisa closed her mouth. Got that? Oh. Honoka is listening. You've just broke Honoka's heart. But what? Yeah. And she overheard you say that. To who? Oh shit. She was talking to Honoka, yeah, have you forgotten? I snatched away her cell phone to talk to Honoka directly. Hopefully I could still fix the damage. Then realize that she's faking it. Hey Honoka! What you just heard isn't really, you know? She hung up immediately. Oh, it is really Honoka on the line. Oh shit, she hung up. Yeah, you stupid old Otoya. Okay, I'll go do that. Where is she? Okay, bye. I ran towards the viewing platform. I turned around and saw Arisa looking at me apologetically. It's fine, it's fine. Buy me some ice cream later. I turned away immediately and ran. When I arrived at the platform, I saw that Honoka was already there. She was standing at the spot she had waited for me earlier. Honoka! Don't run away! <laughs> Wait. Did you just hear that though? I didn't mean anything. I, I didn't mean what I just said. Why? Well, Honoka was smiling at me like nothing had happened. Don't, 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 don't break down now. Well, I mean, I really had to talk to you. You didn't hear the full story earlier. <laughs> no, you're lying. Honoka looked at me brightly. Her eyes though were red and swollen. She must have been crying. No, that was just because I saw... Well... No, you don't understand. Do really? No, no, she doesn't. Honoka seemed more distant than usual. Wasn't sure what to say or do. She was obviously not telling me the truth, but I'm about to got a man up now. It's now or never, seriously. If you don't if you don't confess to her right now, you'll lose your chance. Forever. Like seriously, forever. Because feelings come and go and this is the point where feelings is about to go and never come back. Nope. Honoka's not like always. Nah, she's about to... She's going to start crying again. It was at that moment I realized that behind her smile, she had always been crying. No! And I also realized something else. If we wanted to put our relationship in order, we had to tell each other how we feel. Yes, it's now or never, seriously. 
もう先輩に迷惑かけないから。No, that's not true at all. I have made a thing that her feelings for me were burden. だから、これまでと同じように、友達でいいよ。I have made her say things she didn't mean. ダメかな。Yes, I don't want to. I have made her very sad. The true cause of it all was my own weakness. When I had asked her whether we, whether we could stay friends, I had never really given her a choice. I had to clear it up. I had to set our relationship straight at long last. Yes. I worked up the necessary courage, then put all my heart into my words. I saw、well、go for the kiss. I love you, Honoka. Yes! Not enough, you gotta say more things, Otoya. The perfect CG with the wind blowing in the background and the leaves rustling. Yeah, the leaves yeah, passing、uh, Honoka and Otoya. Yeah. <laughs> no, not friend, a girlfriend. A boyfriend, actually. Oh, wait, this is what I meant, at, what I want at all. Shit, I thought, why did my first confession turn into some kind of comedy sketch? <laughs> And how's, what? Well, because he said Tsukida, but you know in Japanese, Tsuki、uh, can just mean like, you know, like as a friend, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but not that like, not just Tsuki, but like really Aish Ta. Yeah, if we say Aish Ta, then it's really clear that it means love. Yeah. No, that's not what I meant either. No, calm down. Listen to me. I don't want to be just a friend because I love you in a different way. Yes, in a different way. I tried to be as explicit as possible so that she would understand. Just say I stay. But you know, Japanese, they are really embarrassed to say I through, I stay. Because it's a very strong word for love. Yeah. I mean, in English context, love might sound like, oh, it's just a common word, love, you know, that sort of thing. But in Japanese, like, suki is the normal way of saying I love you, but, but there's a very strong word like I stay, which is something that's not. Most Japanese wouldn't really say unless they are like really in love with the other person. Yeah. So, yeah, like really in love with the other person. So, it, it's a very strong word, very strong term. Yeah. So, it's something like head over heels, basically. Although we, we don't really see, hear anyone say head over heels, like in common contact. So, you know, I'm at my limit. I can't be your friend anymore. <laughs> But I want to be your boyfriend. <laughs> She's utterly confused. But why is this in black cats though? It's not like Honoka is whispering or, any or anything like that. Oh, wait. Oh, so she was actually, that was what she was saying in her mind, like what she's thinking in her mind, okay. I'm saying I want to be more than friends with you. What? He didn't say anything like he, he doesn't want you to as a girlfriend. No, he didn't say that. <laughs> Hello? Don't short circuit. Don't continue to short circuit. No, you know the, what's the best way to clear all this confusion that Honoka has? It's just to go ahead and kiss her. Then she'll get it. Kiss her, kiss her. Then she'll get it. Okay, so what do I have to say to get her to understand? How could I best put it? No, don't have to say anything. Just do it. I had to think, think, I thought, no need to think, just do it, just kiss her. I want to do things that friends don't do. My love is that kind of love. I felt pretty sure that she would understand that at least, no. <laughs> 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 
ち同士じゃできないことあ、そういえば部長が電話で、先輩はほのかとエッチがしたいって言ってた。Oh no. She really understood. I, I, I think things are getting more confusing <laughs> for her. Senpai, why are you so much in the face of Hono? Of course, you'll be interested in that. A year ago. No longer. I've been seeing you like that for a long time. What do you do? So long ago, Senpai, why are you so much in the face of Hono? I've been seeing you like that for a long time. That's a benefit, though. But when my mom died and dad didn't show up, it kind of hit home. Uh, I just thought that, not it just thought, what do you mean it just thought? <laughs> I just thought that if we started doing that back then, we would basically be the same as my mom and dad. That scared me. What? No! <laughs> <laughs> but whatever, I, I guess it still kind of works out. <laughs> I was afraid I would hurt you the way my dad hurt my mom, though. Oh no, no oh no! <laughs> dad, no! So I decided I didn't want anything to change back then. If he really loved her, he, would, he probably would, wouldn't have set out to go fishing. Work is what's most important to him, you know? Not my mom or me or Yui. I think I was just an accident to him. Hmm. Not that I wanted uh, not that I want to think like that, but it sure looks that way. Our family never really mattered to my dad. So Nanda Why why is this misunderstanding? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, seriously man? Oh, oh look, are you okay? So I really didn't want to be like my dad and try to make some distance between us. <laughs> I graduated from middle school, and while that year went by, my feelings for you slowly disappeared. Made me feel a little better. That didn't really change after we met again a while back. I thought we could just be really good friends again. But while we were working on the rocket these last few days, I noticed that you didn't really change much. The only thing that really changed was something warm welled up within my chest and my smile. That you became much more feminine. Hentai! <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. I know he's a pervert, I don't know. <laughs> After a while, I realized that I was following you around with my eyes. I feel like this translation doesn't really fully capture what Honoka is actually saying in her mind. She said, Yarashi means those loot eyes. <laughs> you have no idea how hard it was to control myself during your jokes. I was really close to snatching up a couple of times. Saxophone, <laughs> you know? I wanted you so badly. You have no idea. What? <laughs> oh my god, this is what? Why is this? I don't know. But I was trying to wait until four sections was over. 
Don't you think it would affect our work for the club if we did those things? <laughs> That's why I said I didn't feel like going out with you. You're completely misunderstanding the situation, Honoka. <laughs> I meant what I have been going through a year earlier. Yeah, I did. I thought you might never smile at me again. I figured I might never even talk to you after this. You made me really scared, you know. But perhaps I should have simply confessed to her and never talked about what had happened a year, a year earlier. There wasn't really a reason to tell her why I said no in such detail. I want you to know what kind of guy I am. <laughs> Hentai. <laughs> Want you to accept me as I am. Maybe this is selfish of me. No, it's pretty ho horrible. I think so too, but... I didn't want to lie about my feelings. I wonder how things are going to turn out. But this is where we're going to see more... We see their first hitch scene and all. <laughs> <laughs> but, what? You know, more misunderstanding, but at least, yeah, you know, they're getting together, I guess. Oh, the fast route is so weird. <laughs> it's, it's starting to kind of like becoming a kind of like joke rules or something. <laughs> but, I hope things do clear up, but at least they're getting together after this. You better say that out loud so that you think what? <laughs> then he'll try to clarify things even better. It seems like she finally understood me because her cheeks are turning pink. Not really. <laughs> I was sure she understood now. Remember how we went surfing the other day? You were playing date, right? I was totally going to give you CPR. You were just winding me up, but I had a lot of fun there. And it's not just that. I always had a lot of fun when I'm with you. I kept talking and talking as if the lead I had kept over my feelings for you had gone off. We had so much fun when we were kids hanging out and teasing each other. Of course, for a long time I thought we would just be best friends forever. But we couldn't stay like that. Not forever. There was never a chance to not change. It was all harmless when we were kids, but now it's different, right? You know, I realized something as we started getting older and was slowly turning into adults. I realized that I'm a man and you're a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I said what must have sounded incredibly obvious, but Honoka gave me a shock look. Yes. Oh, at least Honoka is asking the right question. What do you mean? <laughs> no! I burst into laughter. <laughs> yeah. You're a real weird weirdo. <laughs> what are you on about at this point? I could see how earnest she was and how important this was to her. 
It was very cute. Everything, of course. <laughs> not, not everything is in your well. Your whole body is part of it. <laughs> yeah, everything. Your hands, your legs, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your hair. Everything from your toes up to the top of your head. I love it all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is... Not weird though, it's not weird. Really perverting, no hentai. Weird is an understatement. Really dude. My passionate words of love must have embarrassed her. She turned beat red. But I think that the biggest one is your personality. Seikaku? Yes, Seikaku. Didn't I tell you that it's always so much fun to hang out with you? No matter what we do, you're always a bundle of joy and never boring. I love it! That's why I want to try doing more things. Things you can't do when you're just friends, like. No, but that's part of it, but it's not, that's not everything. I'm sure I'll see a side of you I haven't seen before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, come on, hold on, I better say this out. Well, it'd be too embarrassed for her to say, but gotta make sure that you're on the right track with, with you're on the same page as Otoya, you know, Honoka? Sounds good, right? <laughs> oh, shit. In before Honoka says, Nope, I reject you. And shit, what? Onoka's face was beat bright red and had gone stiff. She wasn't talking either. Only someone truly stupid would have misunderstood this reaction, yeah. You're saying that Honoka is stupid right now, oh, Toya. Ah, <laughs> uh, but not me! Want me to guess your answer? Don't even know. You want to try doing more things with me too, right? <laughs> no, 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 why is this? this is... Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Just know, you know, I know exactly how you feel. No, you don't. <laughs> It was typical of Honoka to put up a meaningless act at the very end. Okay, do you hate me? <laughs> he also loves you, god damn it. You love me, right? Alright, let's just go with you being in love with me. Clarify things first before you reject him. <laughs> like seriously. Onoka, sefure nante yatta koto nakute. Echi date echi do mo kegen ga nai kedo. Mori da kedo. Demo 
でも先輩お腹かのこと大事にしてくれるそばに飽きて捨てちゃったりしないちょよい、わいおいちょよい You're not a toy, okay? You will never think of you as a toy, okay? Alright, stop dating. Don't be ridiculous, of course not. I'll hold you close to my heart for my entire life. Isho, Senpai ni Isho taiji ni nante. Sina koto, ono ka sakko ka sare tai yo. Sore ni Senpai, ima wa ono ka no koto, etchi na imi ni suki na dake da ke do. At least you're kind of getting it now. <laughs> but he will love you. No, he, he does love you, but eventually you'll realize that, yeah. But the thing is, did he, he like, say, is he love with your personality? Like, <laughs> you're not listening. Oh my god. Then when he says, when she says, okay, I'll be your friends with benefit. I said, like, what? <laughs> I'll be your friend with benefit. Onoka looked straight at me, having apparently come to a decision. What? <laughs> really? Hmm. I felt a warm sensation spread through my chest after finally hearing those words from Hono. Well then, I want to tell you that I love you much more than you think too. What? No. <laughs> No, no. Why are you... Hey, Honoka, stop short circuiting. Yeah, this is the moment. Yeah. But he's not... Come on. <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point. Yeah, don't say sex, okay? I'm, I'm pretty sure he's not going to say that, no. Honoka seemed to be confused and panicking. It was very cute. I wanted to see that confused and panicked side of us more. Like this. Kiss, yeah. I put her to me and gently kissed her on the red lips. Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> yes, you did it. You kissed her. Yeah. That will definitely clear things up for Honoka already. Hopefully. I hope. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, this is bad CG, but this isn't going to be the CG of this episode. The CG is going to run before that because this will be spoiler. But actually, it's not really spoiler, but yeah. But by the time you come to that point, yeah, this will be done. Yeah. But of course, no, I don't want to like show this as thumbnail first things. First things first, yeah, no? <laughs> so yeah, but this is perfect kiss. Yes. I hope this actually clears things up. Like I said, just do it. Monoka wasn't responding to my kiss. Apparently, I confused her too much. Love! Yeah, I am. Nope, that's why you're wrong. <laughs> now you now do you understand? Why not? What? Well, hold on, please. At least they're kissing. She still doesn't quite get it, but... Well, you know... <laughs> yeah, definitely should feel blessed and happy. 
先輩と初めてチューしちゃった。My heart beat faster as I looked at her and saw the innocent look of happiness on her face. Senpai, Unoka, do n t o u e I will have to take another bite. <laughs> yeah, it all starts with a kiss. Yeah. Unoka kissed me again and again, packing me at my mouth. I asked her a question while d e e p s touched. Can you open your mouth a little? Going deep kissing, that's fast. Senpai no shita, Honoka no kuchi ni hai te ki chata. Echi da. Yapari senpai wa echi da yo. Oh man, this translation is wrong. It's not weird. Echi, you know? Echi is not weird. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Actually, it's not weird. Who is this translator? Actually, it's loot. So loot, so loot. <laughs> yes, more kissing sounds. <laughs> It tastes sweet. Nice. It tastes sweet. Strawberry milk flavor. I embraced her gently and she shifted her weight in my arms. Her body was softer than I ever imagined, and her boobies, the softest part of it all, were pressed against my chest. Honoka pressed herself against me. Yeah, yeah, do your best. <laughs> Try what? <laughs> This time, Honoka s t i c k her tongue between my lips and took my mouth. Oh, there we go. Her tongue traveled around mine. She sucked on it and massaged every side. Yeah, you're really good at it. It's fun. It was that honest and outspoken side of her that I love so much. I love you, Honoka. <laughs> no, actually, he did say that earlier, you know. <laughs> Yes, definitely. You can say pretty cute thing. I think it'll be a matter of time. I think it's even right now at this point. But, well, I guess all, all swell ends well eventually. I mean, I mean, all swell ends well right now. Yeah, but. But, hopefully, but her misunderstanding is slowly being cleared, so <laughs> yeah. I really love you so much. I don't know how you'll be if I love you even more. Senpai was not aware of it. I like more and more about Senpai's things. <laughs> okay, show me what that means then. 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 <laughs> I reckon that meant she didn't want me to cheat on her. d a m i of course not. Yeah, I promise. Oh, <laughs> Yaksuku, and then c h o a kiss. She kissed me for a long time before putting her tongue into my mouth. 